So those are all the tools that go into combos. From here on out, the goal is to show you how they fit together and how you can flex them around depending on how the situation requires it. The difference in most of the launchers is the first hit. Depending on the crumple stun, the bounce, or the juggle, or whatever, the first hit you do is a little bit different. Some combos let you get a nice big high damage first hit, some require to use a very specific move. So that's how I'm gonna separate all of them from here. I'm gonna start with a group of standard launchers that you can do the basic combo from no matter what. And then we'll look at variations on the theme that all use the same pieces for the most part. So you can see, oh, well, this is just that combo with a four in it, you know? I think that helps to learn a little bit better to see where it comes from rather than just memorization. Be sure to check the Google Docs again because I refer to these things by colors. The red combo means this. And I'm gonna, it'll show on the screen, right? Red combo is forward three, two, one, one. But you're gonna learn it as red combo eventually the more that I say it. So I think that helps to identify things better. You see them visually as well as hearing them. I think it sticks a little bit. So let's start with the group of basic standard launchers. These are all listed in the dock. I'm gonna tell you what they are, but I don't want to dwell on all of them, right? They all work the same way, regardless of how they might look. Down forward two is one of them, basic launcher. Forward two three as a punch parry is a basic launcher. A little side step to the right helps a little bit, but when you get the successful punch parry, you get the standard combo. Counter hit, down uh, back four, two, second hit. Counter hit while standing one plus two. Your counter hit on down four with four. Can cans, counter hit down three plus four. And the second hit of forward forward two on counter hit. These are all the standard launcher. They all follow the same path. So regardless of what they look like, you can do the B&B &B launcher for all of these. The rest of them are variations in this theme. So what do we start with? Back four two is your best choice. That kicks them nice and high up into the air. You get more combo from it. Back four two is like your primary combo starting tool. And in these move and these launchers, you just go right to that. So I'm going to show you four variations for the most part that you're going to learn from, and you can pick what you want. The first one doesn't use Cosma power at all. It does not cost any health from June, but it doesn't do as much damage. That looks like this. Fifty-eight damage is not bad. You can do way more, but it doesn't cost any of your health. So what I did there after the back four two, I just did a down forward one to stabilize it, and then I did forward three into sidestep two. That can be a little bit tricky, and forward three four, totally interchangeable. So you can do this: back four two, down forward one, and then forward three four as your screw attack, as your tornado. Totally fine. It's like two less damage, but it's much easier. And the ender to that is just a simple back to one four. Good wall carry as well, just doesn't use any power. So that's what you're looking for there. This is a combo that doesn't use your health and still does decent damage. Next up is basically the blue combo. I mentioned before back to one two. This tornado attack is listed in blue. So once you've done your back four two, you can do a little kick like that. Remember how we talked about forward three in the tools, how useful it is? You're just gonna use it here. Nothing else, just a forward three. So back forward two, forward three, blue tornado, and then the basic ender, which is in yellow. The forward forward two ender is in yellow. That's all you're gonna do. The red combo looks a lot like that, except I'm gonna go have a down forward one in it again. Forward three, two, Izumo one, one. That can be a little bit tougher because of the number of hits. I missed it there. Back forward two, down forward one. I'm gonna have to carry that distance a little bit. That's 11 hits. That's about as much as you're gonna get. So that was the same thing. The same back forward two opener, a down forward one, just like the first combo, and then the red tornado. Forward three, two, zoom a one, one. And after that, you do the yellow ender, forward forward two ender again. See how these kind of fit as like pieces? Basically all I've done is shown you a blue combo and a red combo. You take your pick, they're kind of interchangeable and the ender is the same. So it's always in yellow. Anytime you see it written in yellow, boom, basic ender. After a while, you don't have to think of these as numbers and stuff. You'll just think of them as pieces. That's the goal here, building blocks. Like actual literal children's building blocks to put together combos. Launcher, blue block, red block, etc. The fourth one is definitely a big boy combo. I saw this in a video on YouTube that I was just looking for stuff around. So that link is down below to give them credit. I did not know you could do this, 
but it involves a little bit of stance shenanigans right away. Starts off the same. Back forward two is the same part. So what that is, is forward, forward two, and then hold back. And you go into Miare stance and you use Miare one as your tornado. Look at it again. Back forward two, little tap. Forward, forward two into stance, Miare one. Very quick, but that works. So that gives us two things. One, that's a nice bit of damage. And it also does the screw attack, the tornado, excuse me. Does that early with good recovery. So what you can do with that is one of the power hits that I mentioned before. There's an opportunity to use Genjutsu four. So the next part of the combo looks like this. As Soon as they hit that tornado, I did Genjutsu stance manually, then four. Right, and that hits them while they're on the ground. And as soon as I've done that, I input the yellow ender. Forward, forward, two, just like that. It catches them airborne. Notice on normal combos, right? We've been doing that after the tornado while they're on the ground, like this. And this combo, they're still in the air. They're being floated after this, and I'm catching them airborne. Takes some serious practice. This is not an easy combo, but it's there. But that does the most damage. That's 74 compared to where we started with 58. It's an extra 16 points of damage. Is it worth spending 16 points or more of June's health? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of hard to study that at this point, <clears throat> but I'm of the opinion to go ahead and spend that health because there's ways to get it back. Don't live your life worried by what ifs, right? Let it rock, hit them as hard as you can and not worry about it because when you need to, you can kind of hedge your bets a little bit. So those are the four combos, basically. Everything else is just a variation of that. And most of it is just varying what your opening hit is based on the launcher. So those are the standards. There are three sets of high launchers. We talked about how that is a much higher arc than the regular down forward two. So down forward two, one plus two is one of those. While standing three plus four is one of those. Cause again, that's meant to block like a heavy hell sweep or whatever. You get a maximum punish off of that. And the other ones are your heat mode counter hit Izumo conversions. They're not in the air at all, but you get the same combo, right? The ones that were super high in the air lets you get a big damaging hit. This actually does the same thing by skidding them into the ground. The arc is totally different, but the combos are the same. So the only thing that's different here is if you go to the dock and you look at those last four combos we talked about, they all started with back four two, right? And after that, there was a different hit, a down forward one, a forward three, etc. Drop all of those because the first hit we're gonna do is a forward four. Combos are gonna look like this. Forward four, back four two. You do that and then you drop the next hit. That's all you gotta do. No Kazama power version would look like this. Right? Forward three, four. There you go. Same combo, you just drop that hit in favor of the forward four in the beginning. You get the exact same results. So the red combo, for example, would look like this. Forward three, two, Zuma one, one, yellow ender, exactly the same thing. And then the big boy combo is the same. So all that's different is the random first hit after the back forward two is replaced by forward four. Cause forward four does a nice chunk of damage and you can do it on a high launcher. Like I said, they're all just kind of variations of the theme. With these high launchers, there is one other thing that you could do, which is an early tornado with that. What that does is basically let you do the same combos post tornado, but in this particular version, which I think is going to change, June has a little trick that she can do. Because this is so early, she can get to the side like that. And when you spike them from the side with Izumo one plus two, you get some weird results. So I'll show you what it looks like. And that hit is guaranteed. That was already, what, a 70, 80 something damage combo, but the down one plus two afterward is free. They cannot avoid it. So that ends up being 101 damage. Plus, if they get up wrong, it'll relaunch them because it's a tornado attack. You can use Miare one for the same thing. So, I think that's gonna get changed. They're gonna adjust that knockdown because that's a bit much. What happens there is normally they just get kind of flipped over when you do this, right? They just flip over and they're good. They can stand up and block. But when you hit them from the side, it causes a spike that they cannot tech. And the time it takes them to get up, they get hit in the back. So that's there. That does exist. It may still be there months from now. You can see right away when I hit them, 
they're sideways and then you can know the spike is coming. If they're not sideways, they're gonna be able to tech. So you can tell if you got it right. It's just a matter of timing of running up and sidestepping to hit him in the side for this weird spike. So learn that if you want to. If another patch comes out and it's still there, I'd say it's golden. They're not gonna fix it. But I kind of think they're gonna fix it when they have the time. It's just a bit silly to get 101 with almost guaranteed relaunches out in the open. But it's there, so it's in the dock should you ever need that. Otherwise, the four combos apply to these high launchers as well. Next up are what I call the mid-height launchers. They're a little bit better than the standard ones, but they're not as high as the other ones. So only thing that changes is literally identical. Instead of doing forward four in the beginning, back four two, we're just gonna do a regular four. These combos are your forward two, which you're gonna use a lot. You're gonna get a zoom O2 is the same thing, a little bit of a mid height. If they're, they might be as high as the other launches, but your recovery is not as good. We can say that too. You don't get forward four, you just get four, which is a little bit less damage. Uh, while standing three, again, the height looks weird, but it works. As well as if you get this counter hit from while standing three, the juggle is the same. Um, the throw, she has a crouch throw, full crouch and then down back one plus two. A little weird to time, but the same combo is there. And the last one is the heat only combo that you get from a four. So with all these combos, all we're doing is sticking in a four first. You do a regular four, then back four two. And these can sometimes kind of miss. If you catch this from the tip, like way maximum distance, it can miss. The angle can sometimes miss if you're off to the right, for example, weird stuff like that, you know? It's not perfect, but it's gonna be hard to recognize those. So if you wanna just simplify it, right? You can just wait a minute and then do that and not have to worry about it. But if you wanna get the most out of the situation, once you realize those group of launchers, you can just pop out a four and then go about your business. So the rest of the combo is exactly the same. You can do the, the no power version, back to four, just like that, all the way up to the big boy combo. The blue one, the red one, all exactly the same. The only thing that changes is that very first hit. Next up are launchers that start the tornado automatically. You don't have any choice to where you use it. Down one plus two, for example, tornado. It's done, you don't get to use it later in the combo. You just do the rest of your combo afterward. Uh, Miare one is another one. The counter hit on up forward two will do this as well as the second hit version from Dragon Wheel Kick. On counter hits, they cause an automatic tornado. So, what we saw earlier when we had time to do so, you wanna use Genjutsu 4. So you do this and you have your tail spin right away, boom. Use Genjutsu 4, it does a ton of damage. You can also dash up and do forward four, and is just as easy. So from this point, you would do what I call the green combo. It's listed in the dock, the whole sequence is green, but you're just gonna put all the tools together. After Genjutsu 4, they're still in the air, you do the good old back 4-2 like you always did. You use a forward 3 to catch them with one hit, and then you do back 2-1, and instead of doing the, tail, the tornado, you do the ender. You do the Genjutsu 2. So the whole thing looks like this. It's the same combo components, right? That's the exact same combo you did in the red one back in the beginning, except your you don't you can't do the ender because you did that first, right? You did the tornado in the gen four, then you did the combo. So that's written in green when that occurs. When I say green combo, that's what I mean. That whole sequence, back four, two, forward three, and then back to one into your ender. That appears in a couple of places. That's kind of the B and B for all these combos that use up your tornado. And the only difference, again, is that first hit. Because you have the time, and Jitsu 4 is a very good option there. Uh, the next ones are counter hit, up forward 3, which causes that, and the counter hit while standing 2, which is that. Those are weird little knockdowns, but you can convert them with an early tornado. Uh, one way to do so is down forward 4, bang. And the other way to do that is down 1 plus 2. Same thing, you get more damage if you use down one plus two for your health. So those are interchangeable and then you just do the green combo. It's just that simple. You down forward four, bang. This, back to one, and that's all you do. 69, it's comparable, right? You're not like forfeiting any damage. You're just, like I said, you're not be able to do the basic yellow ender because you did the tornado stuff first. That's all it is. Green combo for the win. A little variation here. 
if you switched, this only works for the down one plus two version, is Gen 4, right? But what's different about that combo before is an extra hit. The tornado is not first. So we've already done one hit, then the tornado. If you do Gen 4, you do not have time to do the whole green combo afterward. But what you can do is part of it. Remember how I said the green combo doesn't let you do the basic yellow ender? We're just going to do one hit and then the yellow ender. Looks like this. I know that sounds like a lot, but just look at it. Gen 4, back 4, 2. Yellow ender. Catches him airborne. There he goes, 80 damage. So all we did was replace the long ass green combo with just the back four two and the yellow ender catching them airborne. That way we can do gen four into that shorter version and not run out of hits. Cause otherwise you wouldn't have enough hits to do the whole green combo because the tailspin was second. I know that again, that sounds like a lot, but if you look at the dock, it all makes a ton of sense. Oh, well, if the tailspin or a tornado is first, I can do the whole green combo. If it's not first, I can kind of do the green combo or this version. Same is true with the uh, dragon wheel kick. Because the tornado is two hits, you have the exact same options. You either do the green combo, back four, two, ba, 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 ender. Or you can do the modified version that we talked about. Again, four, whoops. Gen 4, back 4, 2, Yellow Ender. Just like that. Uh, one last part of this combo section is forward 2, 3, when it doesn't punch parry. This is kind of like a tie the room together sort of thing. It's a little bit of both parts that we've talked about so far. You get this hit normally. You have to basically do up forward 2 for your tornado right away. So if you do this and you dash up, look where she is. She's like way off to the side. And in fact, if I go a little further to the side, look what I got. This is the Azumo spike from before. That's 65 damage plus 30 guaranteed follow-up because she's a little bit to his side. So when you do this and you go forward too, you can sidestep to the right a little bit and get the Azumo spike. If you do this and sidestep to the left a little bit, you can get the green combo. You just do that. Side step to the left lines June up with the opponent more naturally, you can do the regular green combo. But if you go to the right, you're on the side and you can do this Izumo spike trick, which again, I may or may not be there forever. Hard to say, but for now, that's there, that's guaranteed, and it can relaunch them. So it's worth knowing if it's gonna stick around. So forward two plus three is a weird little knockdown that gets you both. So basically what we just saw so far was the standard issue launchers. You have an easy, no health used combo. You got the blue and the red, which are the same thing. And you have the hard mode combo. The only thing that's different is the first hit. When it comes to early tornadoes, same thing applies. You have the green combo, so to speak, and you have the variation. The only thing that's different is the first hit. The last three we wanna talk about are just a little bit more unique but they're still just gonna be variations on red and blue for the most part. The first one is counter hit down two. This one is different because it leaves June crouching. Basically the only option is while standing two. You do while standing two, but look, I don't get back four two. This is the only combo where I can't do back four two, what the hell? So just replace it with one of your other tools. Use your back two one toolkit we talked about in the beginning. This is a stabilizer hit. So that would look like this. Back two one. Back to one, two, blue combo right there. And then the same ender. You can do the red one this way as well. I'll send two, back to one, red combo. And then the yellow ender, that's it. The only thing that's different there is you gotta do while standing two. But the fact that you can't do back four, two is a little bit different. You just switch that out for a different piece. One of your other tools works just fine. Uh, the weird combo that you're probably never gonna see is counter hit Izumo one, two. Oh, damn it. A weird combo that you're probably never gonna see is counter hit Izumo one, two. That spike bounces them off the ground. As far as I can tell, the only thing that works is the white hair and dance, one plus four. You can do one plus four, two. It doesn't make any difference. It might hit, it might not. That's always been true of June combos. That hit can be a little picky, but that's it. I can't find anything else that works there. But guess what? Red combo, that's all you gotta do from there. You've got your starter hit, your pickup, and then blue or red combo, done. 
So the last unique combo is the good old fashioned hop kick, up forward 4 3. This time it causes an automatic tornado and leaves June in Miari stance. So you can either choose to use that or just work around it. So the first thing you can do is just sidestep to the right out of Miari stance. It takes a second, but you still have plenty of time. So if you sidestep to the right, you can just dash up and do the, the green combo, just as plain as day. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, I suppose, but you have, should have plenty of time to sidestep, dash up, do the green combo. You have to sidestep to the right. If you go to your left out of Miare, the back 2-1 part is likely to drop because of its weird hitbox. But that's all you have to do, is once you hit the up forward 4-3, just sidestep out, green combo. The other variation is to use Miare, which we know goes into Genjutsu by holding forward. And so Genjutsu 4 is one of our big combo tools. We can just use that. So you just do up forward 4, 3, hold forward, and you can do Genjutsu 4 like that. And we can do the variation, which is just add a back 4, 2. Back 4, 2. Catch the yellow ender airborne like we've been doing. That's all there is to it. Those are your two basic choices. Damage is comparable, nothing lost. So that's it for full combos. I think that's honestly pretty easy once you see the big picture. The red version and the blue version and the big boy combo, they all work. You just have to start the combo differently. Depending on how the combo begins, you gotta do a certain thing, and then the rest of it is just put the puzzle pieces where they belong. That's kind of 